Green Guy and Craig Middle School students. Today we have a really interesting gear. This is called the Worm and Wheel. It is very different than the other ones we've talked about and it's a lot more complex to build. Mine might look a little different than the picture that you're going to see because I could not get it to stay and I was missing parts because I had to bring them home and I can't just run to another kit. So let's just do the best we can today. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is you'll notice that this is the wheel and this is the worm. And so the worm is just a very small little gear. It is only one tooth that keeps wrapping around and around and around. This is a 24 tooth. So if you look at the way I built this, you'll notice that if I ask you what the angle of the input shaft is to the angle of the output shaft, which is right here, it would be at a 90 degree. So the next thing is, is the speed increased, decreased, or constant? Now that's the interesting thing. So when I turn this, if I turn it like this very slowly, you'll notice that it is, the worm is moving and the wheel is moving very slowly. In fact, because there's only one tooth on the worm, it actually has to go around 24 times for this wheel to actually move. And I put a little silver marking on it so you could see that it would go so slowly around. So in this gear assembly, it is actually, the speed is actually decreased by quite a bit. And the opposite of that is, whenever we, in, we decrease speed, we are increasing torque. So there's a lot of torque on this. And then sometimes we'll even skip because there's so much torque on it. Now let's talk about, we already talked a little bit, but let's go back and look at this again. This is the wheel, this is the worm. So if I ask you to label the gear that is the worm, that would be this one. If I ask you to label the gear itself, that would be this. This is the input shaft, this is the output shaft. So now let's talk about the gear ratio to just a second. Remember I told you that this is only one tooth and this is 24? So if you remember, and when you look at when I turn this around, you'll notice that that gear up here is just moving ever so slowly. I think it got a little stuck, there we go. Ever so slowly, very slowly. In fact, it has to go around this, the worm has to go around 24 times for this wheel to go around one time. So that means that you have a drive of one and a driven of 24. So you're gonna mark it differently. So remember, when we go back to this, you would see that you have your one, which is your worm, your drive gear, and 24, which was, is your gear, it is going to be your driven gear. So your ratio is gonna be 24 to one, which is extreme torque. And so it is slowing that down so it can grip. So you might ask yourself, where can I find these things? One of the reasons you can find these is when you look at guitars and basses any, and banjos, different musical instruments that have those keys at the top that you turn that wrap that wire around. Another place you'd see them is in elevators because obviously they don't want you to go soaring to the sky in your elevator. They want you to go slowly up to the next level. And then the last thing is just lifts in general. Any kind of lifts in construction sites, conveyor belts as well, they'll also have a worm gear in it to slow that spinning down. So that's it today, Guy and Creek students. Hopefully you've gotten a, a chance to go and get all of the quizzes done and looked at all the videos. There is an extra little tiny video just to show you one of these in action in industry. Hope you have a chance to look at that too. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and tune in on Monday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.